In this video, we're going to see how to set up Apache Kafka on a Windows machine. Admittedly, I'm just following the quick start guide that Kafka provides for us, but nonetheless, this is a necessary prerequisite to get us uh, to deploy Kafka so that we can use it in our application. So number one, download the code. Uh, so I will go ahead and open the download link and I'll grab one of the mirrors and download like so. Once it's finished, let's select and choose Show in Folder. Now, this does come down as this TGZ extension. So you need something that's capable of unzipping this. I've downloaded 7-zip. There are other options as well. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, open Archive. And you see it's going to take us to a Kafka, so on, so on, forth, uh, so on and so forth tar. I'll double click that. And now it takes us to a folder. I'm going to uh, copy or yeah, copy to, that'll work. And let's just put this on C root because we're going to end up doing a lot of command line stuff here. So I, I take it to C colon backslash. It will still honor the Kafka underscore 212220. Uh, so we choose okay. And now well, let's go to our C drive and verify that it did indeed download to that location. So we go to C, sure enough, here's Kafka, Kafka 212 uh, dash 220. So, all done with 7-zip, or your extracting program of choice, and we see that it's now extracted. So from here, let's navigate to uh, bin, and then you'll see Windows. And now we need to do a bunch of things on command line, so I'm going to go to the top and type in CMD, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, because you notice that it opens directly to this directory where I was in Windows Explorer. So from here, I'm going to say uh, Zookeeper, and server start dot uh, server start bat that's what I want and then we'll say dot dot slash dot dot slash config slash zookeeper dot properties now why dot dot slash dot dot slash uh, if we navigate up from Windows to bin and we navigate from bin to Kafka then we go to config we'll see that all of our config files are here so we have to give that a relative path. When we're, navigate, when we're doing our command line and we're navigating through. So Zookeeper is a container that essentially uh, serves up Kafka and we'll go ahead and allow access here and let that run. Once that's complete, we'll go back to our, uh, back to our Windows Explorer again. Let's open up a new window because you see that the Zookeeper uh, service is still using this window, which is great so that we can look there for any informational messages. We still need to start Kafka though. So let's go ahead CMD one more time. And this time we're going to say Kafka dash server start bat and then once again dot dot slash dot dot slash uh, config slash server dot properties. Now uh, the slash on an American keyboard, the one that I'm using is the one on the question mark key. Um, actually, yeah, that'll work. Uh, actually, it probably wants the other one, but nonetheless, it figured it out, so we're good. Okay, so now Kafka has started. Now what we need to do is add a topic. So once again, we go back to our command window. In that same directory, we open up a new command window. And here we're going to say Kafka topics.bat dash dash create uh, dash dash, or sorry, yeah, dash dash create dash dash bootstrap dash server localhost space localhost colon 9092 space dash dash replication dash factor space one dash dash partitions one dash dash topic space test. So we're making a new topic here. Kafka can be configured to create topics dynamically when something is published to it, but nonetheless, we're just doing a basic topic called test. And let's see if I typed everything correctly. Looks like I did, wonderful. Now let's add something to this topic called test. So we say Kafka dash console producer bat dash dash broker dash list space local host colon 9092 space dash dash topic uh, test topic space test now you notice it opens up with a little carrot here so we'll say foo 
and then we'll say bar, and we're essentially adding things to this, uh, to this topic. Now let's create a consumer that will read from this topic. So we go back to our Windows Explorer window, type in CMD one more time, and now let's say Kafka console consumer bat uh, space dash dash bootstrap dash server space local host colon 9092 space dash dash topic space test dash dash from dash beginning and just double check our typing here because it's really easy to mistype this with all the typing we had to do so I choose enter and now we see foo and bar so it's read those two items off of the topic now let me move this window over just a little bit and in the producer I'll say foo bar is one word and you see in just a moment it appeared over in the consumer uh, Baz and once again, in just a moment, it appeared in the consumer. So our producer is adding to the topic, and our consumer is reading off and displaying from the topic. So at this point, we've confirmed that we have Kafka properly set up in reading and writing. So this will give us a good platform to start integrating Kafka into our program. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.